Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we are going to talk about the Nidarians. What comes first to your mind when the beauty of the ocean is talked about? Is it the fishes, the blue horizon, or the corals? Of course, most of us think of the corals, but they are not rocks though, they are living beings too. Now let's find out more of what they can do. Corals are part of the animal classification called the Nidarians. They are water animals that have a simple body with a mouth opening. Most of them have stinging cells on tentacles around the mouth to catch prey. Stinging. Corals don't sting as far as we know. That's because Nidarians not only include corals but some of the marine life too. Some of them are the hydras, jellyfish, Portuguese man o' war, sea anemones, sea pens, sea whips, and sea fans. A large group of corals is called a coral reef. How are corals and jellyfishes related? Nidarians are either bell-shaped and mobile, like the jellyfish, or tubes anchored to one spot, like coral and sea anemones. That means most of them don't move at all. Nidarians get their name from nidocytes, which are specialized cells that carry stinging organelles. Stinging is just their defense mechanism from predators, so the don't hate them if they sting you. What do they have in their bodies? When you think of a coral, you're probably thinking of a hard thing. That hard exoskeleton is what is left of the coral after it dies. When it is alive, hundreds of thousands of cells are alive and waiting for food to come by. Anemone and coral are an improvement on sponges. But they have a nervous system and sponges don't. That doesn't mean that they are thinking and planning how to catch food. It does mean that the whole organism can have a coordinated response. That means each part of them acts together. Now fun fact learners, did you know that despite them having a nervous system, Nidarias don't have brains? How do they move or eat if they don't have one? Well, its body parts work in coordination with the other body parts to a stimulus. In fact, you could call them a no brainer. The Nidarians have a body part called the nematocyst. It's basically a little spear that shoots at passing prey. That spear has a poisonous protein that injects into the prey to stop it from escaping. Nematocysts are also described as stinging cells. Those cells make it dangerous to touch anemone and jellyfish with your bare hands. The poison of some Nidarians can even kill you, so better watch out. Digestion occurs in their gastrovascular cavity, and all undigested food, waste material, or other secretions must exit the Nidarian through the oral opening. Oral, that means in their mouth. What are the types of Nidarians? There are four main classes of Nidaria. The class Anthozoa, or the Anemones, corals. The class Hydrozoa, or the Portuguese Manoir, Obilia. Next is class Scipozoa or the jellyfish and lastly the class Cubozoa or the Bax jellies. Fun fact did you know that one jellyfish sting equals thousands of tiny stingers of bees? Ouchie right? But if you do get stung, be sure to wash it with vinegar and warm water, not ice. Now there are two basic forms of Nidarians the polyp and the medusa. Polyp usually reproduces asexually. One type of asexual reproduction in polyps leads to the formation of new medusae. Medusae usually reproduce sexually. Sexual reproduction forms a zygote. The zygote develops into a larva called a planula. The planula in turn develops into a polyp. Did you know that Nidarians also have a super regeneration? When broken apart and attacked by predators or divided by accident, so when they divide, each part of them becomes another body. How do Nidarians catch their food? Mostly, the carnivorous Nidarians use their stinging tentacles to capture prey. But some Nidarians like corals and sea anemones don't move. Well, most of them eat algae in their skins, and in some cases, their prey like small fish or crustaceans comes to these Nidarians through misadventure. That means food comes to them naturally. 
The box jellyfish swim relatively quickly, so they seem more capable of hunting their prey. All their characteristics aside, they serve a very important job to ocean life. Without them, maybe we eat a little amount of fishes today. That's because coral reefs serve as home to the yummy and colorful fishes in the ocean. Like in anemones, even though they sting, they eat fishes live inside them because the remains of what the fishes eat is shared with them. But today, some of these coral reefs are getting destroyed by the improper garbage disposal of some people. These waste materials are toxic to them, and when they eat them thinking it was food, they die instead. So always remember to help preserve our coral reefs as well as other marine ecosystems. So learners, remember to take care of our environment because they keep us healthy too. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day.